Well, you often hear about the different projects and funding at City Hall, but beyond building transit and infrastructure, some of the projects are helping people by investing in them. Dave Trafford with the personal payoff. This project not only saves a heritage building, Eva's residents say, it saves lives. And that's exactly the right statement I would use. It did save me. Gustavo was a third year college student up until last year. Suddenly, uh, depression hit, and that left me like I couldn't focus on my job. I couldn't really focus on like on anything. He turned to Eva's where he learned career skills. He was given the opportunity to be part of the construction crew working on this site. In June, I'll be entering a carpentry program where I've been able to enter as an apprenticeship and soon, uh, probably in a year, be entered in a union. Just like that, I have a life. That's the kind of investment that the city governments and, and the private sector can make in partnership. The mayor says it's city building that looks beyond the transit and the billion dollar infrastructure. And at the end of the day, that is your first and foremost responsibility that you have when you're in a position of responsibility in government, which is to invest in people. The next step for this Build Toronto project now is finding a firm willing to redevelop the rest of the site that will include some affordable housing. Quite frankly, I don't think we'll have a real problem finding a developer that will be prepared to incorporate certain parts of affordable housing in a development. So it's, you're, not it's getting, you're not getting any kind of rash of pushback or, or no. concern among developers around this? It's a, it's a model you see all over the city today. We're saying the first person into this building is Eva's with their shelter. They're the first one moving in, and the balance of the land that's here, the city will sell to help pay for the cost that it has to relocate Eva's. A city building for the dividend our personal successes and strong communities. Just like that, uh, I have a future. Uh, I'm due to move out in uh, mid-April and be married on the 3rd. Uh, Gustavo's quite a, a, an impressive young fellow there, and uh, you know he, he, he points to something like Eva's Phoenix as saving his life, as setting him back on track. And it's not very often that we hear transitional homeless housing for the youth of this city being associated with big vision city building, but that's very much what we heard today. And you will note that Bill Toronto was involved there, and so they are very much uh, just trying to get back on track. Last week we were telling you that of the 1,250 units they had promised, they only delivered on 12 for affordable housing in the city. So this is one of their projects moving forward. Crystal? All right. Good to see that success story there. Dave, thank you very much.